Please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. It will help us a lot. Yes, uh, I think you're you're hitting a lot of really important points. Um, I had a conversation just last week with someone who is interested about you know, or interested in becoming an illustrator, and um, I could just sort of tell from the moment the conversation started that they were somehow sort of embarrassed, I guess, to be sharing with me that this is what they wanted to do. Um, and I think it's because you know, I think a lot of people who who draw or, or you know do art of any kind do it for themselves you know which is important you know i think that's the, the best possible reason to do it um but when it comes time to then uh turn it into a career um there's some sort of disconnect that happens when it's like okay this is something that i used to do for me that was my little therapy session or whatever you want to call it you know something that i would do to just you know fill my days and now I'm trying to do it to make a paycheck. Um, you know, I think that that's, that's the tough transition. And so I try and, you know, without being too harsh, I try and say, you know, look, like you're, you're, it's like you're applying for a job. You know, it may feel like you're doing what you love, which you are, but you're also doing a job. And, you know, people have certain expectations of you. And um, to that same end, you, you're you going to have to work with other people, whether you're working um, with, an editorial team or another art director or um you know there are, there are other people who are just as passionate as you um but they also may have differing opinions so you need to have the confidence in your decisions and your work to stand up for yourself um and i think that it's something just like drawing that comes with practice you're not going to be incredibly confident all of a sudden maybe with your first or second job but it's just something that i think is important to work on